position in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He'd appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the ground and start to weave his web of traps to try and find a submission. This striker needs to maintain his space. He needs to make sure he is not on the ground. Avoid it at all costs. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, that right hand is on point. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, spinning back fist lands. One, two there by Ferguson. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. So 28 total strikes have now landed for Tony Ferguson. Oh! Oh! Look at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Ooh, huge body shot. That body's done, oh. man. Body's done. He got him. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Huge elbow there. Serve him up. Go hands get him. High, high. And you hear the crowd. Oh, oh he's hurt. He's gone. It's over. Oh, my goodness. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win.